you want to. All right, so give me a give me just a straight clean. Yeah, because without it, you know. And it doesn't make it that much louder either. It's a, it's definitely a, the squish, as you Absolutely. would say. Absolutely. Because, yeah, even with using your fingers and that kind of chicken picking, you know. Yeah. To me, with the compressor. It just feels like... Oops, I used the wrong country, one. you know? got a whole lot of juice coming from that pedal either. No. That's about what quarter of the way up. You know, so it's like, yeah, the level's a yeah. quarter of the way. The comp is cranked, but the pedal, you know, even just any of that kind of, without that, you know. But with it. Yeah. And to me, that's kind of a sound thing. Like, you mm -hmm. hear the attack and the, kind of the squish and the twang of it. Now, do you, got, then, you, the, know, you got the switch in for the treble, correct? Uh, this also has a switch yes. For, yes. It's for a treble mode, which is pretty handy, actually. And we can demonstrate. Yeah, once you uh, show, it, show it on and then show it off. Sure. That is with the treble mode on, without. Uh, actually, I'll try to play the same thing. That I, saying, I, think that's, I think that switch <laughs> might be backwards, because that one definitely sounded more oh, trebler. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds warmer, like... yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. that's definitely, yeah. yeah. Here, we'll do that again. So, without the treble engaged, <laughs> yes. we have take two. With the treble engaged. And it's not a gross amount of treble either. It's no. kind of like usable, just kind of makes it, you know, almost like it's a present thing. You know? Yeah, it's not mighty at all. kind of a useful thing to have yeah especially a lot of that you know you could look at the other way like if you want to dial it out kind of like you know because sometimes oh yeah you totally can yeah the tally, uh, well and your tally. tone your tone your tone is set about halfway too right. so i mean you could kind of go if you even if you use the bright switch you could back that tone off quite a bit absolutely and kind of just have more like a presence but without like a bright treble right, kind of sound right. that's a good point yeah sometimes they get really bitey yeah you know? yeah but that's actually not too bad. No. Even in like the all. full on, it's actually a pretty usable sound. Absolutely. I, and I like the way it sounds too. Like if you're doing a little bit of the jazzy stuff, like with a, with a real dark tone. Which I do constantly. <laughs> of course. <laughs> like to me, just having that, you know, that. Yeah. Brightens it up just a little bit. Just enough, yeah, you know? As opposed to. Oh, oh yeah. I mean that's not bad. No, it sounds good. It's like, just, it just bring, gives it a little bit more life. Right. It, it feels like you can. It's almost like if you had to run the amp a lot harder, mm -hmm. or if you would do that live, you'd probably gain. You'd probably naturally get a little that. Yeah, you so would. it's so nice at a low volume to have. Yeah. You know, again, it might be a smidge louder the way I have it set up, but it's. It's not bad. Again, you can feel. I don't know if you can hear it as well too, but it really sounds. You know, it's supposed to like, kind of. Yeah. You know. See, that to me sounds great, you know. Yeah. I like the way that, that sounds. That's not bad at all. I mean, it, it's just a really good, clear, simple compressor. It's oh, nothing yeah. fancy. It's, you know, kind of almost impossible to fuck up tone wise, yeah, you know. Right, man.